now we'll add a destination in business application studio for that first login to btb trial account and after login go to business application studio so first here i am logging to sap btb cockpit and once you log in here click on sap business application studio Now here, a dev experience in your running status, in case if it is not running, here you'll see one icon to start the application. So click on that icon and if it is in stop status, after some time, you'll see this in the running status. Now go to Fury or dev space. Now we are inside the business application studio. So to add a destination in the business application studio, Either you can see an icon here as service center. If the icon is not there, just click on this three dot, three dots, and here you can see service center. So add a new system, click on this service center. So here you can see SAP system, add system. Okay, here in service center, we have multiple options, SAP system, SAP API business hub, etc. So first we want to add a SAP system, so click on add system. Give the system name. Let's say SAP BTP HANA. S SAP BTP as for HANA. Description SAP BTP with S for HANA on premise. Enter the URL. Here in this URL, what we have to do? In the cloud connector, we can virtual host, virtual host, copy this virtual host from here and here type HTTP colon and enter that virtual host along with the port number. Okay. Select the system type, keep this as it is, web service catalog. In the SAP client, so here we have to enter the client which we are using for SAP login. I'm entering here 800. Select the proxy type. Here we'll select on premise. Authentication is basic authentication. Enter the username, the user ID which we are using for SAP GUI login. So I will enter my user ID here. And you have to enter the password here. So I will add the, enter the password and the product type click select. SAPS for HANA and click on add button. Now expand this. Wait for some time. System is adding the system. Now you can see our new system SAP BTP S4 HANA is added successfully. Now wait for some time. See here. As soon as the connection is established successfully, you can see all the services, all the OLTA services, which are there on the backend system here on this screen. So if you are able to see all the services of this s HANA system, this means that our connection is established successfully. And in case if you are, if you are working with a multiple backend system, then in the same way, in the same way, you can add a new system here. On this account, click on plus icon and then add a new system. So this is how we can add the destination into directly business application studio. There is one more way of adding the system by going to trial account, but this is the preferred way to add the des destination by going to the business application studio. Okay. Now in case, suppose if you want to delete this system from business application studio. So what we can do first, let's check how this connection is displayed into trial account. Go to trial account. On the left hand side, you can see the option as destinations. Now once we add a new destination into business application studio, same we can see 
in the BTP cockpit account. See here, SAP BTP as well, HANA. And in case, if you want to delete this, just click on this icon, the system will get removed. So this is how we can add a new destination and we can see all the services available in the backend system. So in this way, we have done all the setup required for SAP BTP to connect with the on-premises S4 HANA system with the help of SAP Cloud Connector. So in next session, what we'll do, we'll make a simple theory application using one of the available OETA services. That we'll see in the next session. Thank you.